Hi, this is Henning for FlipNormals.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can use marking menus in Maya for faster and more efficient modeling. Maya has a very powerful feature set when it comes to modeling, but it's all hidden in menus which and shelves which will slow you down on modeling. For instance, if you want to make a cube, you can go under polygons and click the cube, and you're going to get a cube, or you can go to create uh, polygon primitives, cube, and you can get a cube. The problem is when you're modeling, you want to move your mouse as little as possible and do it with as few clicks as possible as well. So they introduced a system, which has been in Maya for ages now, called marking menus. Uh, by default, uh, Maya ships with these, and you just have to know how to access them. You have several different ones mapped to several different keys. For instance, if you're nothing is selected, shift right mouse button will bring up uh, primitives. So you can now just hold shift right mouse button and select a polygon cube. You can go under shift right mouse button, select the cylinder, the square, and so on. The thing is, this is gesture based, meaning you don't have to wait for the menu to actually pop up. You can just shift the right mouse button and drag down, take to right, to left, and you can get all these various uh, primitives. And this is just way faster than going up here and clicking all the time because the amount you're moving your mouse is nothing compared to it. So that's that's the first one we're going to look at. That's shift right mouse button with nothing selected. Now let's see what happens when you do it with something selected. If we're, we are in uh, object mode, we can get we're going to get some tools like insert edge loop tool. If we are in edge mode, we're going to get certain other tools like extrude, which is extremely handy. You really just have to go through all these modeling, all these all these menus, and just figure out which ones are right for you, and um, then use them a lot. They're going to become really uh, dug into your muscle memory, and you're going to be modeling very very fast after just a short while. So the first one, again, uh, shift right mouse button with nothing selected will create primitives. Shift right mouse button with something in object mode with something selected will bring you certain tools. Then you have various ones based on the component type. If you're in verts, you're going to get one type. For instance, merge verts, which you're going to merge your verts. Extremely handy. Edges, you can get something like bevel. Shift right mouse button to the right. So extremely handy. I'm going to go through some of these now which are the most useful I find. Let's go into faces first. Uh, so the one I use the most here by far is extrude faces. So you can just shift mouse button, right mouse button drag down or just hit shift down. And then you can start to move it around. You can do this really quickly and uh, you can start extruding in no time at all. Some other ones which are handy are smooth faces. For instance, you select everything by double clicking smooth faces. will simply just subdivide your model. Uh, you also have extract faces and duplicate faces, which are under here as well. If you want to extract these, you want to have these as a separate item. Uh, you can just select them all. Hit extract. Uh, that was the wrong one. Apologies. Extract faces, and it can become a separate object. You can also just duplicate faces if you want to be in a new one, uh, but still remain, retain the old ones. There we go. Very, very handy. Let's see if there are any, no, any other ones which are handy here. You also have mapping, so you can add like planar maps to it. And add divisions to a face as well, which will simply subdivide it without smoothing it down. So that's very nice. That's on the polygons, or on the faces rather. On the vertices or vertex, there are some which are very nice as well. For instance, uh, merge verts, and we have merge verts to center. So you can just drag up, shift right mouse button and just drag up. This is gonna merge it right away without having to wait for a menu. Very, very nice. You can also just hit G to repeat last action. Uh, you can also go shift right mouse button up and and the merge vertex tool and now you have a drag tool which can you can use a drag one vert to another to merge it down 
You also have stuff like extrude vertex, which is also pretty handy at times. And um, that's about it. That's that, that, those are the tools I use the most by far here. Average vert is also pretty handy. You can just select all these and just average verts, which is just basically going to smooth it down. But this is by f these are the most one I use the most here. But pretty much this shift right mouse button drag up. This is a core part of my workflow. Then then we have edges. The ones I use here are a lot are um, uh, collapse. Collapse edges is really handy. As you can really quickly like just to get rid of edge loops. We also have uh, bevel edges. You just shift right mouse button to the side. And then you can just select the segments and offset here as well. Holding hit control A to switch between uh, the attribute editor and the channel box. And here you can just again set the segments and the offset by middle mouse button dragging. If you hold on control instead of middle mouse button, uh, you're going to get a very incremental setup. So you, you can now really adjust, fine tune it instead of just uh, adjusting the big numbers. Which is pretty handy. That's just as a simple pro tip. Then uh, th that's about it for edges. We I don't really use much more than that here, to be honest. Uh, fill hole can be useful. Bridge can sometimes be useful when it's working. Edge slide tool. I forgot about that one. Edge slide tool is extremely useful. So um, that will basically uh, just slide it along this the curvature. It will retain the curvature, but just slide the edges. Very, very handy. And that's about it for main modeling tools. You also have one marking menu, which is control. Uh, so if you hold down, you select something, and you control right mouse button, as opposed to shift right mouse button. You now get selection tools up. So you can now convert the selection to edges, uh, verts, and so on. Very nice. You can grow your selection. You can shrink your selection. Or oh, you can also do this with hotkeys if you prefer. And you have some very selection tools here. One which is pretty nice as well, which a lot of people don't know about, is control right mouse button, edging utilities. And here you can do something like edging and collapse, which will just select edging and collapse it. Uh, so let's just make a new one here. Select it, delete, then go under here. Uh, actually, let's just smooth it a little bit. Let's smooth it once more. Hit F to focus. So if you if you now select this one here, um, control, shift, control, right mouse button, edge ring utilities, and edge ring and collapse. This will now select the entire edge ring and just collapse it in, in one, one operation. We also have this one, edge ring, uh, just two edge ring, we'll just select the edge ring, as opposed to an edge loop, which is, which is this. Edge ring is the ring of edges. Control. Uh, right mouse button and edge ring and split. This will add a loop down the line in the middle, which is really, really handy as well. You can also do this in a really quick manner. So uh, again, it's gesture based. So you only have to do go down here and then down again, and you're going to get edge ring and split. So this is something I do quite, uh, quite regularly. And for those who don't know what you're doing, it's going to look like magic, which is kind of a plus. Uh, so, so but by working with menus like this, you can model really, really quickly. There is uh, there are a couple more there are, uh, which are handy. One is um, Control Shift Right Mouse Button. Let me just get to that. Control Shift Right Mouse Button is a modeling modifier. So, for instance, a modeling tool modifier, which just means that if you have edge ring tool or insert edge ring edge tools. Edge loop selected. I'm sorry about that. Um, you're now going to get some uh, modeling tools or modifiers within that. So edge flow. Uh, you can select how many loops you want. So you have a lot of uh, nice things like this. Uh, this also works with the various tools like bevel. And pretty much every tool in Maya. So that's shift or control, shift, 
right mouse button, which is going to give you modeling tool modifiers. That's pretty much it for just pure modeling. You also have a couple which are based on your transform tools or transform scale rotate. If you hold on like W, W for move, E for rotate, R for scale, and just hold down W, you're going to get some modifiers up as well, which is very nice. You can now quickly change, uh, this is sort of here, you can now quickly change it to like object and world. So you can very quickly just uh, change it on, or move it on the world or object axis. So that's very nice. You can do the same thing with the uh, rotation and scale. Uh, so I just recommend that you explore all of these as well. Also as a general tip, there is um, a way to move uh, your objects, scale them, rotate them in Maya based on the gesture. Uh, meaning that you don't actually have to click here to move it about on the manip manipulator or gizmo. Uh, you can just um, hold down shift middle mouse button and then you can just scale it or just, just drag it on the axis you want and it's going to follow pretty well. So you can now see my mouse, my cursor is all in the bottom right corner and my gizmo is all the way over here. I'm just dragging it in the axis I want it now, which is very nice because you don't have to move it over here and accurately select it. So this is nice, you can rotate as well. I found it to be not too reliable when it comes to rotating the scale, so I pretty much just only use it for, um, for moving. But it's still nice. For instance, if I want to duplicate this couple times and move it up, move it around, Control D, and I can now just quickly move it about without having to uh, actually select it, because it's so much quicker to just go like here instead of select this one, select this one. So that's about it for the tutorial. Just a recap: Shift right mouse button will will nothing is selected will create a primitive like a cube. Oh, by the way, if, uh, if it doesn't select, if it doesn't create a cube right away, but it rather does uh, this, you have to draw it out. Just go under shift, right mouse button, and check off interactive creation. And it's gonna just give you a standard cube in the center. If something is selected, you get various, you get different modeling tools. If you're in object mode, you get some. If you're in face mode, you get some. Uh, uh, Edge mode, some, and so on. Control, sh uh, control, right mouse button will give you selection tools, as opposed to pure modeling tools. And control, shift, right mouse button will give you modeling modifiers. W, hold down and hold down with left mouse button, and E, left mouse button, and R, right, right, left mouse button will give you modifiers based on this, on the current tool. So you can quickly change between world and object position. And you can very quickly just move stuff about by holding shift and just middle mouse button in the direction you want to go. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.